Good morning, people. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, got a fly rod in my hands. We're gonna be doing some more fly fishing today. And today's gonna be a classic slab adventure where we really have no idea what we're getting into. If you guys have been fans of the channel for a while, you've probably seen some of the videos we've shot around our area. A lot of little creeks, rivers, ponds, things like that, that have some really, really good bass in them and some multi-species action as well. That's exactly what we're gonna do today, except we're gonna fly fish. We're gonna explore some roadside creeks, some rivers, just some of our local honey holes and uh, see what we can't catch on the fly. And hopefully we can show you guys that you don't need to go up to the mountains or to some creek crazy destination to have a lot of fun fly fishing. Super quick guys, before we get started, uh, we've got a really big announcement actually. We announced this on our Instagram page, so if you're not following us on Instagram, go ahead and follow us there because you'll get all of the updates before they get out on this channel. But we announced this on our Instagram a couple weeks ago, just haven't gotten around to it on the YouTube channel yet. We have a new sponsor, a new sponsor for the channel, Veil camo super super stoked about partnering with veil camo they make some of the coolest patterns on the market a lot of their stuff they've licensed out to other companies so they're they're really traditionally a camo pattern company who has licensed out their patterns to companies and brands like striker academy sports if you've seen the magellan outdoor stuff at academy sports a lot of their stuff has veil camo on it and a whole bunch of other really big brands but What's really cool is Vail is starting to develop its own line of products. They're gonna be coming out with stuff here soon. And we're so, so excited to be partnered with them. They're supporting the channel big time. So go show them some love. We're gonna have their social media handles down below and down in the description. Go give them a follow. Tell them Slab Dynasty sent you. Enough talk, guys. Let's go catch some fish. Okay guys, we are here. You might recognize this river. We've been here before. Shot a few videos out here, some older videos. This place is pretty wild and uh, a really, really unique fishery because of spotted bass. The water level's looking good, especially up there. I don't know if y'all can see. There's a nice, nice run going on. We should be able to get way up river up there and wade into some of those spots uh, and have plenty of room to cast a fly rod. So as far as fly gear today, you know, these spotted bass, they're, they're not huge, but they fight extremely hard. And if we run into a bowfin or a pickerel or really anything else that's out here besides panfish, uh, we're gonna be in for a fight on fly gear. So I've got an eight weight, nine foot rod. Uh, this is an Orvis Clearwater, really basic setup. And then I've got a, uh, I wanna say like an eight pound, tapered leader. This is the fly I'm gonna start off with. This thing is called the meat whistle. It's an articulated streamer. Really big, good bait fish imitation. This thing will put off a lot of pulse, all that hair. Uh, put off a lot of pulse in this dirty water. It's kind of dingy. Uh, so we need something that they can really key in on and see. I think just about anything predatory that's swimming around in here will definitely take a swipe at this. So I'm gonna get this tied up and we're gonna get out there and start slinging this thing around. This looks pretty good right here. Casting up, got plenty of casting room. Oh, fish, fish on. There we go. That's a big spot of bass. Big spot of bass. Dude, he just came up and hammered it, dude. <laughs> I saw that, saw that whole thing. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. It's like a one and a half. Oh, he's gonna fight me for a little bit. Nice fish, nice fish. Oh, there's another one with him. There's another one with him. That's a pretty good one, boys. That is a chunker. Yo, that, that meat whistle is gone too. He absolutely choked it. Look at that thing. Look at this bass, y'all. Let's go. Let's go here, come here, come here. Oh, yes, sir, <laughs> look at that one. Yes, that is an awesome fish. What a start. That's a big, big spot of bass, y'all. That is a chunky river spot. He nailed that thing as soon 
as that fly landed, he came up and just whoomp, just absolutely gulped it. Wow, what a fish. What a fish. Dang, dude, look at that. That's like pushing two pounds on that guy, for sure. There's more fish up in there. All right, guys. We just got some pics of this fish. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. Caught him on this meat whistle. Like I said, he absolutely came up and just hammered it. That was so cool. I, you could see the whole thing. I don't know if y'all you'll, you'll be able to see that on GoPro, but um, we're gonna get an underwater release of this guy before he swims off. So y'all can kind of see this underwater environment that he's living in. It's very, it looks muddy, but it's actually super, super clear. Um, and I could see, like I said, I could see that whole strike happen. We're gonna get this guy let go. That's a nice one. That's a nice like two pound spotted bass right there. Awesome, in this little river. All right, guys, we're gonna get back in there, see if there's another one. I saw another one with that dude chasing the fly, so. Pretty confident we can we can hook into another fish here. Oh, there he is! He got it. Nice, nice. That's a smaller one, but still, freaking hammered it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's freaking go. Ooh, he's going down that current. No, 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 no. He's not very big. He's not very big. Look at that. Perfect. Ah, right in the top of the nose. Chunky, chunky little spotted bass right there. Hell yeah. Yeah, a little mini guy. About half the size of that last one, maybe not even. He got it really good. He <laughs> jerked the rod out of my hands on this. So that's what's in here, guys. This is, this is what's called, I was so excited on that last fish that I forgot to talk about it, but uh, this is what's called a Kentucky spotted bass. There's two different strains of spotted bass. One's called an Alabama spot. One's called a Kentucky spot. You know, obviously from where they uh, where they come from, where those strains originated. The Kentucky spot has proliferated uh, in some of these areas right here around the Cape Fear River in eastern North Carolina, which is super, super unique. We've got some lakes that have Alabama spots, which is what most people are familiar with. I'm gonna let this guy go. See you, buddy. Woo. But uh, Kentucky spots are somewhat of a rare occurrence around here, uh, at least in the in the region, you know, the southeast. To find them here in, in some of these lowland rivers in eastern North Carolina is really, really rare, really cool. And honestly, like, I, I think there might be some really, really true giants in here, like some three plus pounders. That two pounder was the first one that bit. We've caught some bigger, so this is shaping out to be a pretty good day, hopefully. He hammered it like right here. I think someone else is home down there. No, there's another one in this hole. Oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> another little one. Woo! A little tiny guy. Even smaller than the last one. Third one in this spot, though. So freaking sick. Come on in here, buddy. That is another... Kentucky spot. These Kentucky spots, they look a lot like largemouth. Like if I didn't know any better, I'd say that's a that's a baby largemouth. And I think you can tell because of the patch on the tongue that they're spotted bass. You see, he's got that. I don't know if y'all can see that. He's got that little patch in there, right there on the on the tongue. And then the most scientific way to tell, though, I think is like if the jawline right here, like the corner of the jaw, does not extend past behind the eye, then it's a spotted bass and not, not a largemouth. I haven't really been able to use that method to, to tell a whole lot, but all right, we're gonna get this guy back in the water. There you go, buddy. Sweet, fish number three. I think it's time to maybe move up. Yep, there he is. That's a good one. Pretty good one. I saw, I saw, oh God, Ugh. how? I set the hook hard on him. 
That was pretty wild. I know there's some more fish down there. Oh, there he is. Got him. <laughs> Don't come off, please. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Not a huge one, but that's a spotted bass. Ah, nice. Nice. Come on up in here. Ding! <laughs> Yep, that's a good one right there. That's a pretty good one. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Stacked up in this hole. Oh, he's right by my feet. Right by my feet. <laughs> and look how pretty this one is, guys. Pretty, pretty little one. A little bit bigger than that last one. Not huge, but a nice little chunky fish. Just another pretty little spot of bass they're on they are biting right now all right guys midday update uh, we had to take a little break get situated get some batteries back in the truck and cj went back to the truck and got stung by a murder hornet doesn't look something. like much but uh the thing hurt <laughs> so uh apparently they're like holes here where they're just swarming out of oh dude there's one right there don't do that. <laughs> no, I'm serious. There was. Yeah. There literally was. Okay, so we, we have to be extremely careful walking through this woods. Let's, uh, we got one more spot to hit up here. It's a pretty good spot. It's by the bridge. Uh, hopefully that could be the last spot and then we can, we can get out of here. <laughs> Let's hope we don't get stung. Yeah, because deep water right below these runs is crush. Magoosh. Oh, I just got bit. I want a bow fin. I want a big bow fin. I want a fly, dude. All right, guys, nothing on this bridge area, but up here is a spot where CJ and Levi have had a lot of success in the past. Deeper hole right before a big rapid. That's kind of, it seems to be what's been most productive for us today anyway. So got a good feeling about this, this spot right here. This is probably the last spot of the day. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you see where he went? He just went down. It's either a boat fin or a big spot. Where? Uh, huge bowfin, guys. Huge bowfin right in here. Oh, he swam off. I see him. I see him. Holy moly. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! I, I need to retie. Can someone bring me a fly? He's curious. What do you need? Yeah, something black. Black with a little bit of shine in it. Like a big woolly bugger. <laughs> this is wild. If he if he comes up and hammers this thing, that would be pure chaos. Yeah. Let's try something. I see him. Right here. Oh, 
He's he's looking at that thing down there. He's okay. He's keying in on this thing, boys. Oh my God, he's on it. Oh my God. He's just creeping on it, dude. I think he's smelling it, dude. Dude, he's on it. He's literally nose on it. Like he couldn't be any closer to it. Now, now I moved it away. He's so cautious, it's unreal. It's like he's dumb, but he's smart. He's so slow, he, it's like, I just pulled it away from him, but he's just stuck in the same position he was in. Got it, he got it, he got it. Oh my God, he hammered it, dude. He freaking hammered it. This is a big fish, boys big fish oh god oh that scared the crap out of me <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh oh what a fish what a fish oh what a fish what if no dang it Oh no. No, he, the, the fly's still there. I guess I didn't get a good enough hook set on them. They are notoriously hard to get a hook on. Let me check the fly. No, nothing's messed up. They have these, God, they have these prehistoric, like hard, bony mouths. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was a huge fish, dude. I gotta take a second on that one. <laughs> that was sick. That was so sick though. I hope y'all got to see that on GoPro because I creeped that thing up to his side and he, he's been so still and careful that whole time we were, we were stalking him. And then uh, he just freaking lashed at it like instantly. Man, that's a bummer. That's a huge bummer. Ugh. All right, boys. That's all she wrote. Kind of a bummer way to end it, but we had a pretty good day. We caught several spotted bass, some other species, and you know, just to hook into that big fish, I'm, st I'm like sitting here still looking for it because I'm, I want to catch it so bad, but just to hook into that fish on the fly was really freaking sweet. Uh, definitely the biggest fish I've hooked into on the fly so far. I'm just a beast. I hope y'all get to see that thing on camera like really clearly. I don't know how good the shot's gonna be, but I mean, it was like that, that big big around too just a really fat and just a cool fish both in are so cool i'm hoping we get the chance to target some again but we'll see y'all back at the truck so that is a wrap on today can't complain like really really successful day we we ended up catching i think it was four or five plus spotted bass one that was pushing two pounds which is a really big one you know for a small river situation like that you really don't see that too often you don't see spotted bass like in, in a tiny river situation like that especially around here especially in the in kind of the low flat areas of eastern north carolina where we are still definitely very bummed about that bowfin i wanted that bowfin so bad and just to see it eat right in front of us i, I wish we could have captured that a little bit better i don't know it might look pretty cool on the gopro you guys will already know that thing was just that thing was just a prehistoric beautiful monster lurking around and it, it owned that little section of the river we're gonna be back we're gonna we're gonna catch that dude again hopefully on a fly i'd, I'd love to be able to land a bowfin on a fly i feel like that's like a kind of a rare accomplishment but that's gonna do it guys let us know what you thought about this video let us know what you think about the fly fishing videos in general we're obviously doing a lot more fly fishing recently it's something that's uh that's doing well on our channel i mean not gonna lie it's also 
also something though that like we've genuinely wanted to learn for a while now and it's something we enjoy like it's truly like a different unique challenge to to target and catch and land fish on a fly as you guys saw today so let us know if you if you dig the fly fishing content and if not you know let us know too we love y'all's opinions we love getting y'all's feedback more adventures to come guys stay tuned make sure you're subscribed hey remember all it takes is one baby slab out